Hi, welcome back. Excuse the mess of my hair. I just got up. I haven't been up that long. I did end up making me spaghetti. I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to try. <laughs> so, that is basically my lunch and breakfast put into one, considering it's like 5 in the afternoon, maybe 6 now. Who knows? So, today's video is going to be about Russia, the history of Russia. But before I get into the actual history, I'm just going to uh, tell the facts of it that, I've, that I decided to look up because I'm bored and have nothing better to do with my time. So the full name is Russian Federation. Uh, it used to go by... Um, Soviet Union. Um, the capital is Moscow. Moscow, excuse me. The major language is Russian, obviously. Major religions are as follows. Christianity, Islam, Buddhist, Buddhism, and Judaism. The life expectancy there for men is 59 years old. And ex life expectancy for women is 73 years old. Monetary unit. One ruble equals 100 Kopecks. I don't know what any of that means, but hopefully whoever's watching this does. Yeah. And that. Okay, so next is something I found. It's called the, the fact book on Russia history and geography. Founded in the 12th century, the it was uh, able to emerge from over 200 years of Mongol domination, 13th to 15th century, and my necklace is all fucking out of whack. Anyway, and grad and to gradually conquer and absorb surrounding surrounding areas in the early 17th century, a new Romanov dynasty continued this policy of expansion across Siberia to the Pacific under Peter the first ruled 1682 to 1725 hegemony was extended to the Baltic Sea and the country was renamed the Russian Empire during the 19th century more traditional acquisitions were made in Europe and Asia Defeat in the Russo-Japanese War of 1904 and 1905 contributed to the Revolution of 1905, which resulted in the formation of a parliament and other reforms. Repeated devastation defeats of the Russian army in the World War I led to widespread rioting in the major cities of the Russian Empire and to the overthrow in 1917 of the Imperial Household. The Communists under Vladimir Lenin seized power soon after and formed the USSR, the brutal rule of Joseph Stalin, 1928 to 1953, straightened communist rule and Russian dominance of the Soviet Union at a cost of tens of millions of lives. The Soviet economy and society stagnated in the following decades until General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev, yeah, I'm not going to say that because I don't want to butcher this guy's name. He was in office for 1985 to 1991. He introduced glasnost, which is means open, openness, I guess, and uh, perestroika, which means re restructuring, in an attempt to modernize communism, but his initiatives inadvertently released forces that by December 1991 splintered the USSR into Russia and 14 other independent republics. Since then, Russia has shifted its post-Soviet democratic ambitions in favor of a centralized semi-authoritarian <sighs> crap, I can't speak authoritarian state whose legitimacy is but rest <laughs> in part by carefully managed national elections. Former President Putin's genuine popularity and the prudent management of Russia's windfall energy wealth, Russia has severely disabled a rebel movement, although violence still occurs throughout the North. The National Flag 
three equal horizontal bands of white, which is the top one, blue, and red. The colors may have been based on those of the Dutch flag. Despite many popular interpretations, there is no official meaning assigned to the colors of the Russian flag. The geography. Russia is located in northern Asia. However, the area west of the Urals is considered part of Europe. The country is bordering the Arctic Ocean and lies in between Europe and the North Pacific Ocean. Russia is the largest country in the world in terms of area, but it is unfavorably located in relation to major sea land lanes of the world. Also, much of the country lacks proper soils and climates as it, it, it often is either too cold or too dry to grow anything. The coordinates 6,000 north and uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to understand that. I don't know coordinates, sorry for anyone who does. Alright, so the border countries are as follows. Azerbaijan, I'm butchering that name, 284 kilometers away, or I think that's what that means. Belarus, 959 kilometers. China, which is southeast, 3,605 kilometer. China, south, 40 kilometer. Estonia, 290 kilometer. Finland, 1,313 kilometer. Georgia, I guess that's a country. Shows how much I know. 723 kilometer. Kazakhstan, 6,846 kilometer. North Korea, 17.5 kilometer. Lativa, 292 kilometer. Lithuania, 227 kilometer. Mongolia, 3,441 kilometer. Norway, 196 kilometer. Poland, 439 kilometer. And Ukraine, which is 1,057 six kilometer. All right, climate ranges from steppes in the south throughout humid continental much in much of your European Asia. I mean Russia, excuse me. I don't know why I'm thinking Re Asia. Subarctic in Siberia to tundra climate in the polar north. Winters vary from cool along Black Sea coast to frigid in Siberia. Summers vary from warm in the steppes to cool along Arctic coast. The terrain broad plain with low hills west of Urals, vast configurous forest and tundra in the Siberia, uplands and mountains along southern border regions. Lowest point is the Caspian Sea, and highest point is Gora Elbrus. El I don't know what that is. Natural resources. Wide natural resource base include major deposits of oil, natural gas, coal, and many strategic min minerals. Timber. Please note that formidable obstacles of climate, terrain, and distance hinder exploitation of natural resources. Land use. Arable land, 7, 17%, and permanent crops are 0, 11%. Other 92, 72%, which was in 2005. Irrigated land, 46,000 square kilometer. And moving on, because I don't want to spend my time pushing out numbers all the time. Okay, natural hazards. Permafrost over much of Siberia is a major impediment to development, volcanic activity in the Kur Kuril Islands, volcanoes and earthquakes on the Kamchatka Pen Peninsula, spring floods and summer slash autumn forest fires throughout Siberia and parts of European Russia. Bi environment issues. Air pollution <laughs> from, he from heavy industry, emissions of coal-fired electric, electric plants, 
and transportation in major cities, industrial, municipal, and agricultural pollution of inland waterways and sea coasts, deforest deforestation and soil erosion, soil contamination from improper application of agricultural chemicals, so on and so forth, scattered areas of sometimes intense radioactive contamination, groundwater contamination from toxic waste, urban solid waste management, abandoned stocks of obsolete pesticides. Yeah, they just have like a shit ton of shit they don't need on their land, don't they? Environment agreements, party two air pollution, air pollution, nitrogen oxides, air pollution, sulfur, 85, and I'm not gonna read all of that. Arctic environmental protocol, Arctic marine living resources, Antarctic seals, Antarctic treaty, biodiversity, climate change, climate change, again, protocol, desert, desertification, uh, endangered species, environmental modification, hazardous wastes, law of the sea, marine dumping, ozone layer protection, ship pollution, tropical timber, wetlands, whaling signed but not ratified, air pollution, sulfur 94. Okay, so backtracking a little. Following the Russian Revolution, the Russian Soviet Federal Federative Socialist Republic, don't know why they have to make that such a long, complicated name, became the largest and leading constituent of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, the world's first content, uh, socialist state, I guess. The Soviet Union played a decisive role in the Allied victory in World War II and emerged as a recognized superpower and rival to the United States during the Cold War. The Soviet era saw some of the most significant technological achievements of the 20th century, including the world's first human-made satellite and the launching of the first humans in space. By the end of 1990, the Soviet Union had the world's second largest economy, largest standing military in the world, and the largest stockpile of weapons of mass destruction. Following the dis dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, 15 independent republics emerged from the USSR, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Ube Uzik, Uzbekistan, yeah, I can't say that, Armenia, Estonia, Georgia, Lativa, Lithuania, Moldova, and some others that I can't pronounce. <laughs> the Russian SFSR reconstituted itself as the Russian Federation and is recognized as the continuing legal personality and sole successor state of the Soviet Union. It is governed as a federal semi-presidential republic. The Russian economy works and ranks as the 12th largest by the nominal GDP and the 6th lar largest by purchasing power parity in 2015. And I'm not going to do all that because I already read all that out. Let's see. Hmm. We're going to go to culture. Okay. The culture and cuisine. There are over 160 different ethnic groups and indigenous people in Russia. The country's vast... Cultural di diversity spans ethnic Russians with their Slavic Orthodox traditions, Tatars and Bashekirs. Yeah, I can't say that. So I'm not even going to bother read all that out. <laughs> the Russian cuisine widely uses fish, poultry, mushrooms, berries, and honey. Crops of rye, wheat, barley, and millet provide the ingredients of various breads, pancakes, and cereals, as well as for... Uh, Kavas, beer, and vodka drinks. Black bread is rather popular in Russia compared to the rest of the world. Flavorful soups and stews include sinchi, borsk, yuka, and some others that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Smetna, 
which is a heavy sour cream, is often added to soups and salads. Um, Bellini and Cyrniki are native types of pancakes. Chicken Kiev, Pelmeni, and Shal... Yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> are popular meat dishes, the last two being of tater and and something else origin respectively Caucasus I think yeah other meat dishes include stuffed cabbage rolls usually filled with meat and salads include olivier salad vinaigrette and dressed herring Russians large number of ethnic groups have distinctive traditions in regarding folk music typical ethnic Russian musical instruments are glusny glusly yeah, I, folk music had a significant influence on Russian classical composers, and in modern times, it is a source of inspiration for a number of popular folk bands. Russian folk songs, as well as Patriot Soviet songs, constitute the bulk of the repertoire of the world-renowned Red Army Choir and other popular ensembles. Alright. We're going to skip on ahead because I don't want to spend all day here. Why did you just do that? Thank you. Excuse me while I fight with my freaking tablet here. <sighs> so sad. Okay, literature and philis philosophically, yeah, I can't say it. In 18th century, during the era of Russian Enlightenment, the development of Russian literature was boosted by the works of Mikhail Lomino Lomonosov and Denis Fon Fonazin. By the early 19th century, a modern native tradition had emerged, producing some of the greatest writers in Russian history. This period, known also as the Golden Age of Russian Poetry, began with Alexander Pushkin, um, who is considered the founder of the modern Russian literary language, and often described as the Russian Shakespeare. It continued into the 19th century with the poetry of Mikhail Lermontov, and yeah, I can't. Why do they have to have such complicated names? Alright, moving on. By 1880s, the age of the great novelist was over, and short fiction and poetry became the dominant genres, genre, excuse me. The next several decades became known as the Silver Age of Russian Poetry, when the previously dominant literary realism was replaced by symbolism. Okay. okay, cinema, animation, and media. Russian and later Soviet cinema was a hotbed of invention in the period immediately following 1917, resulting in world-renowned films such as The Battleship, uh, Potem Potemkin, yeah. Einstein was a student of... Filmmaker and theorist Lev Kuleshov, who developed the Soviet montage theory of film editing, editing at the world's first film school, the All Union Institute of Cinematography. All right. The 1960s and 1970s saw a greater variety of artistic styles in the Soviet cinema. Um, let's see. 1961 and 1968, direct Bondarchov directed an Oscar-winning film adaptation of Leo Tolsto Tolstoy's epic War and Peace, which was the most expensive film made in the Soviet Union. In 1969, Vladimir uh, Motive, Motil's White Sun of the Desert was released, a pop, very popular film in, a, in genre of Ostern. The film is traditionally watched by Cosmo... Cosmo... Yeah, I can't say it. <laughs> Russian animation dates back to the late Russian Empire times during the Soviet era. 
uh, studio studio name I can't pronounce was the largest animation producer many Soviet cartoon heroes such as the Russian style Winnie the Pooh cute little um, Chebershka wolf and hare from new and when it new Pogdogi, yeah, are iconic images in Russia and many surrounding countries. And I don't know why I'm trying to read all these names out because I can't read them apparently. <sighs> Just realized how complicating Russian names are. All right, national holidays and symbols. This will be the last thing that I'm reading. There are seven ho public holidays in Russia, except those always se celebrated on Sunday. Russian New Year tra traditions resemble those of the Western Christmas with New Year trees and gifts and dead moros, Father Frost, playing the same role as Santa Claus. Orthodox Christmas falls on January 7th because the Russian Orthodox Church still follows the Julian calendar. And all Orthodox holidays are 13 days after the Western ones. Two other major Christian holidays are Easter and Trinity Sunday. Sunday, excuse me, Kurban, Kurban Bay, Bayram and Yurazay Bayram are celebrated by Russian Muslims. Um, for the Russian public holidays include Defender of the Fatherland Day, which is February 23rd, uh, which honors Russian men, especially those serving in the army. International Women's Day, which is March 8th, which Combines the traditions of Mother's Day and Valentine's Day, Spring and Labor Day, May 1st, Victory, Victory Day, excuse me, Russia Day, which is due June 12th, and Unity Day, which is November 4th, commemorating the popular uprising which expelled Polish occupation force from Moscow in 1612. Victory Day is the second most popular holiday in Russia. It com commemorates the victory over Nazism in the Great Patriotic War. A huge military parade hosted by the President of Russia is annually organized in Moscow on Red Square. Similar parades take place in all major Russian cities and cities with the statue's hero city or city of military gold. All right. Popular non-public holidays include Old New Year, the New Year according to the Julian calendar on January 14th, Tatiana Day students holiday on January 25th, um, meh, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, I lied, it's not the last thing I'm reading. Tourism. <laughs> Tourism in Russia has been seen rapid growth since the late Soviet period, first domestic tourism and then international tourism fueled by the rich culture, heritage, and great natural variety of the country. Major tourist routes in Russia include a journey around the golden ring of ancient cities, cruises on the big rivers like the Volga, and long journeys on the on the famous Trans-Siberian Railway in 2013, Russia was visited by 28.4 million tourists. It is the most, ninth most visited country in the world and the seventh most visited in Europe. The number of Western visitors dropped in 2014. The most visited destinations in Russia are Moscow, St. Petersburg, the current former capitals of the country. Recognized as world cities, they feature such world world renowned museums as the uh, Trechkovo. Yeah, I can't say that. Gallery and the Hemorrhage, famous famous theaters of Bell Show. And that's now I can read from that. <laughs> The warm subculture Black Sea coast of Russia is the site for a number of popular sea resorts, re resorts like Sochi, the follow-up host of the 2014 Winter Olympics. The mountains of the northern Caucasus contain popular ski resorts such as, such as Dom Bay. The most famous natural destination in Russia is Lake 
by call the blue eye of siberia as it's called this unique lake the oldest and deepest in the world has crystal clear waters and is surrounded by taiga covered mountains other popular natural destinations include kamchatka which is uh with its volcanoes and geysers um Karelia with its lakes and granite rocks, the snowy Altai Mountains, and the wild steppes of Tuva. Alright, so that is basically it. If you guys enjoyed this video and want me to see another another video of another country, please tell me down below or somehow, either on my Facebook page or something of like that, which you can find in my about part of the YouTube channel. So with that said, I will see you guys later and blessed be.